In this video, I'm going to tell you how to transfer your saves and pick out the right Ghost of Tsushima version for you on the PS5, and also give you some tips on how to download it faster because it's a very big download. In this video, we're going to answer all your questions about how to do the PS5 upgrade to the director's cut and get your go from your PS4 version to your PS5 version so you can start playing the Iki Island expansion of Ghost of Tsushima. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to crush Ghost of Tsushima. So, Sucker Punch or the Ghost of Tsushima Twitter handle put out this tweet that says uh, to transfer a PS5 save to Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut on PS5, have it on the PS5 storage and select Transfer PS4 Console Save. This came right up right after I downloaded and started booting up the the game. And it, it'll boot up and try to get you to start the prologue. And you don't want to do that. You want to you wanna transfer your saves. You have to transfer them one at a time, though. So even before before this, right, before you want to install your PS4 version, right, and you want to have your saves for your PS4 version, so you want to have it already installed on your PS5 before you do all this installing of the upgrade for the director's cut. And I don't think it will let you upgrade to the director's cut unless you have installed the PS4 version on your PS5. So the other thing is the menu I find is kind of annoying. It it, it, it always asks you to, uh, you'll lose your progress. Are you sure you want to do that? And you do want to lose your progress because you've only progressed like 10 seconds into the prologue. And so you, you're asked that every time you have to save. Uh, when I was playing the game back in uh, July of 2020, I found that... Uh, I, uh, I lost like 10 hours because I, I didn't, that message really kind of freaked me out. So you're going to have to go through that message every time you uh, try to load or transfer a save. And then once you're done transferring saves, uh, it, the, the official Twitter handle goes on to warn you that your trophies will not automatically transfer. So when you kind of go to your home screen, you're going to see that the trophies are not there. But what does happen is if you put in your you know your furthest save then your trophies will appear right so you know my advice is you know don't do your first save that you pull up don't make it an intermediate save right maybe you want to replay act three or something well don't do that uh pick your your latest save right the one with the most trophies in it and then your trophies will pop up for the next five minutes depending on how many trophies you have so that that would be my advice and just go to go to that last save not the earliest save or one of the earlier saves first and open that up until the trophies pop and then before that you have to download it right and so your download depended on whenever midnight was in your region and so the download speeds are a lot faster in most cases if you use a LAN connection. And so you have to actually go into settings. You can't just plug in your LAN connection into your PS5 and hope it, for it to work, but you have to go into your settings. From settings, you wanna choose your network and then settings again, and then set up an internet connection and it'll say scanning for Wi-Fi networks. And then networks found set up a wired LAN, right? So if you've got the LAN cable already plugged in, then that's the one you want because the download speeds for a LAN is just much, much faster than a, a wireless router in most cases. And so for me, it was a hundred times faster. Uh, I went to sleep overnight and then woke up and we were only halfway downloaded for a 42 gigabyte file. But with the wired LAN, it it took five hour, five minutes for what took five hours before. So if you've not bought the game, then from the PlayStation Store, you could just buy the whole director's cut for the PS5. That's going to be $70. Um, and then if you want to get the director's cut for the PS4, it's $60. 
but if you've already bought the game uh if you're on the if you have a physical disc you need to insert your disc uh, into your disc drive so if you have a ps5 without a disc drive and you bought the disc version then you need to buy a new version uh to to get the Iki island expansion and and the ps5 upgrade but if you bought a, a digital copy from the playstation 4 then your upgrade process is that if you pre-ordered it, you probably pre-ordered the PS4 version, and now that we're we were to the launch day and passed for the director's cut. Now you can upgrade the PS4 version for ten dollars to the PS5 version. The PS5 version is going to give you haptic feedback. It's going to have better graphics. It's also going to have a better lip sync for the Kurosawa mode if you want to have it in Japanese. So that was one of the big complaints. If you did the Japanese. Uh, for the PS5 version, the the mouse will be talking the correct way. Not they won't be talking in English, uh, even though the sound is is in Japanese. So those that's the decision for you if you want to upgrade to PS4 or P or keep the PS4 version or PS5. It's going to cost you ten dollars more. It's not. I'm not real happy about it. I'm not real happy about the process they had waiting you making you wait specifically, not just the amount that you have to pay extra, but making you wait until the actual day to get the PS5 upgrade versus pre-ordering and pre-downloading I think would have been a much better process would have wasted their fans time a lot less time and would have meant there was less pressure on downloading it on the on the day and now after launch day if you didn't pre-order the director's cut upgrade then you just pay $30 and you get the PS5 upgrade now you could just pay $20 and get the PS4 version and then later on you could upgrade for ten dollars but the simplest would be just to you know do the ps5 upgrade right away now that we're past launch day before launch day you could only do it separately if you're going to pre-order but now that we're not pre-ordering we're just ordering or buying uh you can do the ps5 upgrade to the director's cut for thirty dollars if you own the base game. Anyways, enjoy uh, your copy of uh, the director's cut of Ghost of Tsushima. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Ghost of Tsushima.